So MDF is specialized in complexity aware methods. Correct. Can you tell me what they are? Complexity aware methods. Now, yeah, as the name already uh, as the name already said, these are particular evaluation methods that are supposed to that, that do take into account the complexity of reality. Basically, all development interventions have a higher goal than just the deliverables of the intervention itself. As opposed to, for instance, a restaurant that serves food and that tries to sell food, uh, you measure the success of a restaurant by the number of uh, the number of clients or by the client satisfaction. Very close to the deliverables, uh, but also very predictable. If you make good food at an affordable price, it's quite likely that people come. That kind of linear logic. Uh, that kind of linear logic applies. However, in development uh, interventions, often that linear logic is much less obvious, especially when it concerns lobby and advocacy uh, projects where you try to influence either government or employers to change their behavior vis-a-vis -vis a particular development issue. The problem with these type of interventions is that they try to affect human behavior and humans don't let themselves be changed in a very predictable and linear uh, and linear kind of way. Um, so with these kind of interventions, you don't know where the change will occur, when it will occur, to what extent, and how exactly, which, which pathway, which pathway of change. Which means that using traditional indicators uh, becomes difficult because setting indicators means that you have an idea as to when, what kind of change will happen, at what point in time. In order to, to deal with that, there are a number of complexity aware methods like outcome mapping and uh, most significant and most significant change, where you do it basically the other way around. You don't reason from your indicators and see to what extent you find the planned results back in reality, but you start looking by what happened in reality and reason that back towards the original intentions of your uh, of your intervention. Can you give me an example of how you use the complexity aware methods in your evaluation experience? An important example where I encountered that very strongly was in, in a country in the Balkans, where I was working with an NGO who is pursuing participatory democracy. Big ambition, big ambition, basically get the people involved in policy making and policy implementation. The NGO had been working on that uh, topic already for a number of years and was increasingly getting frustrated that participatory democracy, civil, uh, civil servant participation, wasn't really taking off, was not happening. And government officials were still not open to it. To prove their point, one of the people working there cited examples stating that government officials now even explicitly opposed, citing that they had too little resources, that they didn't have the time, etc., etc. All kind of reasons why they should not engage in participatory processes. However, a colleague of, a colleague of his then remarked and said, well, actually it's still better than a couple of years ago where whenever we spoke about participation, they just looked at us blankly like they had no clue what we were talking about or they just said, yeah, this is something from Western Europe doesn't apply to us. And giving that a little bit more thought, we came to the conclusion that actually if you look at how human nature reacts to change, yeah. first reaction is denials. This is denial. This doesn't apply to us. Blank. But only then you enter the phase of resistance where people start opposing a particular change, which happens to be an, an, an unavoidable step towards adaptation, where people start trying out, uh, where people start trying out new uh, new things. So, in conclusion, it was understood that actually progress was being made. The journey from output to outcome was broken down in smaller steps, and seeing that resistance is a logical step from not knowing a particular concept towards using that, uh, using that concept, they completely changed their view in terms of the achievements that they were making and the progress that they were making towards their ambition. And that realization gave them new ideas and new energy to continue, to continue their work, and that was great to see. So that sounds like a very fascinating example, and, and why was that important for you? 
so what is what was important was to see that that through the evaluation uh, an organization that actually had reached a certain level of frustration with the way they were doing and they were actually looking at the evaluation as a moment to find out what else they should be doing uh, the evaluation actually gave them based on what else they should be doing based on the con conviction that they were not making progress the evaluation actually gave them a completely different answer it told them you are making progress it's just didn't happen in the way you had anticipated it, which is logic given the complexity of the change process. And since you are making progress, there is no need to completely abandon your ways of working, you just have to build on what you have achieved. Now you see there is resistance, so how can you break through that resistance? What arguments can you give them to, to go from resistance to adaptation? And in the subsequent work with them, that is exactly what we have been talking about. How can we know? What are the necessary next steps? So not what can we do different, but what are the next steps based on, on what, we have, uh, what we have achieved? And that was probably not just a more sensible way forward, but also a much more pleasant way forward for them, rather than having to acknowledge that the last few years were a failure. And that type of learning, creating that type of insights and helping them forward in, in how do you then deal, uh, how do you use those insights, that's what making, uh, that is when an evaluation becomes big fun to do and, and very rewarding. So if I understand correctly from your example, uh, if we use uh, um, the right type of methods in a complex uh, situation, we are much more likely to get the reliable and uh, accurate uh, insight on the progress of a certain uh, program. Correct.